We've all been through things. Each and every single one of us has a story. No one makes it through this life clean without being cut in some shape or way. Jesus is the only way that we get salvation. And the way that Jesus, our salvation, set us up to not just go to heaven one day. Also, guess who's in this space today? This guy. Yeah. He's here today. Look at his setup. He's so cute. I'm here at the dollar store grabbing some items for tomorrow's little event and I'm excited for it. Hey guys. Look at each other, girlies, <laughs> with your bonnet. I love it. Just finished two clients, the door. And Emmanuel is my chauffeur, and I'm so grateful I asked him to be my chauffeur today be because, this way? Because I couldn't imagine doing all this by myself, especially since I had a couple of hiccups and I needed him to run and grab me stuff. But nonetheless, super honored, super grateful. And now we're on to the next, on to the next thing. My man, my man, my man. We're at the second client's location. About to glam up my second client. Got my, my guy right here with me. Just finished my last client. We're about to be on our way home. Feeling real successful. Mm -hmm. Thanks for being my driver. <laughs> Manny, don't ever talk on the vlogs. I know y'all. <laughs> Say a little something for the people. Hi. <laughs> Look, Look at this cutie. That, that means stay ready. Stay, stay ready. ready. So you don't gotta get ready, okay? But she thinks she looks like a hot mess, but I don't think she so. Look, she's she has, running she has a red lip. She literally has the earrings and a baseball cap. I think you look cute. You look better than I'm how I would have. I'm tired. That's all right. I appreciate you though. <laughs> she came to go collect her stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then she's going to DIY something and she's getting stuff from Michaels. Okay. Okay, let them know. Sabrina with three A's at the end and a V. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it right there. <laughs> Just got home. I'm busting down that salad. So good. So good. It's just greens, avocado, and green pepper. And baby, it is good. Look at that. My nose is running. <laughs> Sorry. I gotta unpack everything. Manny just wants to get tablecloths. Let me let me work. Get some help? Yeah, pretty much. Because I did everything y'all want me to do. Mm -mm. And now I'm struggling. Like, I need a hand. Get in close, everybody. Okay, one, two, three, smile. Okay, now silly. Okay, back to smiling. 
Okay. <laughs> it's a video, so literally finished the first month. Wifey beat up. Got my wagon again. All packed up. Didn't do my makeup, but that's okay because I'm about to take a nice shower at my mother's house. Whew, so grateful. So grateful. But I actually have to go home first so I could drop off the stuff. But nonetheless, so grateful. Oh, it's so good. Some baby pink blush, Sheila. So I'm literally at TJ Maxx and I found this for $80. Literally was just sitting right there like this. I think I might get it. $79 and it retails for this price right here. Insert on screen. I think this is a good buy. Sometimes it's hit or miss. But yeah. Um, I wanted to get a new curling iron because the one that I have I feel like has been clocking out slightly But I feel good about this purchase So I purposely did not grab a cart only because I didn't want to grab so much stuff But I like how this TJ Maxx has a really good beauty section in it has like all the products even though I don't recommend it um, but they have like cute like uh, beauty stuff for your beauty so, there's that Be next to the bacon. I'm a little cool now. There you go, cool girl. <laughs> and you didn't want to come to Petco. Of you and um, some with my adopted son. Look, plants. Eta. Look at that one, it's so little. This one looks so pretty, Angel. It is cute. That one here, mom, look with the yellow. Mm -hmm. Even this blue one, they're so pretty. I miss my fish, but I travel too much. You know that was cool. It's because when I went to Guyana, Lucy, that one is, oh, mom, I want a fish now. Fish. We got the clown. <laughs> oh shoot! You, you can't fry that one up. Look at this one. That's a weird one. Oh, clown fish. Hello.
If you can't afford to go to the aquarium, go to Petco. Oh, you see that one playing around? Lucy, I can see Lucy having a fish tank like this. You know? Because look at all their colors. Um, neon colors. Yeah. Black light. I can see, don't you, can't you see Lucy with an aquarium with that? Yeah, but since they're going to eat it. I don't think she's going to eat it. I always like the Dalmatian fish. They're so cute. They're just spotted. Hello, fishies. Buying a ferret. He's sleeping. Bobby, look, look. <laughs> Why are you scared like he gonna come? Come and get you. Bearded dragon. This is like what um. There's a lizard. Just got to do the coupon. Ah, then that is a lot. <laughs> so, AKA is not on sale. No. We're going to give these a little try. If you see the makeup, you already know what it is. I had a live earlier today and I did my makeup on live. Just ate some chips. I don't know if there's any crumbs on me, but I love no crumbs. <laughs> but yeah, so about to start my work day. I have to, I'll show you a little bit of the vibe. I have to clean up my area again. I had a client come in and at the end of the day, I was like, I'm tired. I'm not about to do it. I have to clear that up, figure out what's going on. I'm going to actually get rid of the sheets and stuff like that i gotta fold it up and bring it home wash them because a lot of my valentine's day minis are done and so there's that as well <laughs> say you you make the full turn from cradle to grave and I had a little more hair when I was born than I do now but we've all been through things each and every single one of us has a story no one makes it through this life clean without being cut in some shape or way Jesus is the only way that we get salvation and the way that Jesus, our salvation, set us up to not just go to heaven one day, that is obsessed with ourselves. We love to be self-sufficient. We love the idea of being autonomous. We live in a culture that is infatuated with comfort, convenience, and celebrity. Where we bind to the false projections of others and we miss the people that God has placed right in front of us to do real life with each and every single day. We're infatuated with celebrities, athletes, influencers, business people, billionaires, people that have prestige, prominence in society. And we look down on ourselves and we look down on each other. We're obsessed with how we feel. The greatest idols of our day, if not the greatest idols of our day, is me, myself, and I. My own wants, my likes, my desires, my worries, my frustrations, my needs. 
self-care. Grocery shopping. Because we need to get it done. Just got back to the grocery store. As you can tell by the time lapse I included. And I just wanted to pop up and be like, yo, never in like a thousand million kabillion years would I think I'd be someone buying pickles. Like, legit pickles. This is the good stuff, not that cheap pickle. <laughs> no offense. Cucumbers, water, vinegar, carrot, salt, fresh dill, garlic, spices, one tenth of sodium benzo benzoate. That's a preservative. Calcium chloride, natural flavors, EDTA, to preserve freshness, and turmeric for color. Coach Row, would you approve? I know a lot of stuff I bought today, Coach Row would be like, Ooh, what? It's a lab experiment. But. I digress. I gotta prepare for the week. I am about to make myself. Oh gosh. Oh no, I have bread, but do I have? Okay, good. I'll use this bread. First, I didn't think I had bread. I was like, whoa, what's going on? This is the bread I want to use. I'll get a plate. I don't have any more paper plates. So I have to use a real one. Oh, this is gross. This is dirty. Oh, because he didn't wash them yet. We're going upstairs. I'm going to use a paper towel because I'm not going downstairs. I limited Emmanuel and I's um, plates. So, like, we're not using tons and tons and tons of plates while, you know, it's just us. So I put literally two plates, two bowls, two plate bowls out for us. I think I'll make myself two sandwiches. Yeah. Yeah, I'll leave the burger bread alone. Because I have burgers for our dinner. I'm so hungry. Um, I feel like I want to make this sandwich like how I would when I was a child. <laughs> oh, maybe I should do one sandwich and chips on the side. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. One sandwich, chips, and dip on the side. Um, so when I was younger, Ruben Luc and Lucilla and I, we would make these like skyscraper sandwiches, but I'm not going to make a skyscraper one today, but we'd put tons of different condi condi condiments I have the stuffy nose. Leave me alone. Um, and so I'm going to start off with bread. I should show you guys, but I don't have a tripod nearby. Bread. The most delicious mayo. Um, and I like a lot of it. I don't care. I like mayo. I know there's some people like, oh, mayo, gross. I love mayo and I love me some ketchup. Literally love it. Manny hates how much I love this stuff. Like if food doesn't taste good, I will throw a little bit of ketchup. And if it tastes like it needs some creaminess, I will throw some, some mayo with no shame because listen, mayo is I was always gonna be like, ah, unsubscribe, unsubscribe. <laughs> I love me some mayo. I love me some mayo. So, coat the bread. This is not like gonna be a cute sandwich. It's gonna be like a mm, tasty. All right, close that up. I'm gonna use today. I bought salsalito. 
turkey breast, so it has a little spiciness to it. Oh yeah, my mouth is like watering already. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's a lot of meat, Angel. Hold on, I'm gonna take two, two pieces out. Take this whole chunk. Put it off to the side. So you wanna layer meat. Put a little meat. Then you're gonna do a cheese. Oh, my finger. And I got um, boar's head, American. I should have got cheddar, but let's do a little American y because um, for the burgers today, I feel like I want to just do American. Um, and I didn't want to buy a lot of cheese because y'all know me and cheese. So I'm going to use maybe three slices of the sandwich. No, I'll probably use two. So meat, actually ketchup. I have to buy a fresh thing of ketchup. Let me just see if I have anything else. I have to ask Emmanuel's dad to bring me some ketchup from Guyana. Today I'm not going to be using the Guyanese um, ketchup, but all right, you're done. Um, <clears throat> oh, come on. Please don't play me. Um, but yeah, I know ketchup is not like the best thing for you but until i learn how to make my own this was the best drop a few dots of ketchup put that cheese on top then more meat oh yeah this is looking like a potty more meat some barbecue sauce and i'm going to be trying the sweet vidalia onion this joint right here it's just a little splash just a little shoot just a little taste you don't want it to overpower what we got going on here so just a little bit of that another piece of cheese no I put a little drop of mustard mustard Ooh. just a little squiggle Pickles. Can't believe this. I'm literally the girl that's buying pickles and I hated pickles when I was growing up. Hated it. Like Lucy and Ruben would eat because we used to have a store. They would eat pickles from the jar. My mom would take a little sandwich bag, take out a big giant pickle. I probably could never do that, but like the spears and the, and the, um, what's it called? Slices. I could do. Oh yeah. And I think I really started getting back, like not back, but getting into pickles is because of the sandwich from Chick-fil-A. Dang, I just dropped one in the sink. So sad. But the sandwich from Chick-fil-A, granted, I, I've learned that that pickle is not the best for you. Pickles, though, from Boar's Head, they're tasty. All right, cool. Pickles, good. If I showed y'all this sandwich, y'all would be like, Angel, you're disgusting. So after that, a little bit of black pepper, just a little. Nothing crazy. Where's my fried black pepper? When I was younger, I didn't do this part, but as an adult, when I go to sandwich shops, hey, where's that? Oh, right here. When I would go to sandwich shops, they would do this and it would taste so good. Just a couple of cracks of black pepper and a couple of cracks of salt. Um, then we'll do a little drizzle of olive oil. Why not? Let's razzle dazzle it. Boop, just a little, boop, just like that. Put the cheese and bread with mayo on top. And there. There you go. Let me show y'all. I'm gonna be like, Angel's gross. Mmm, look at that. Tasty. 